when it comes to the attributes needed for a new mode of transportation. Elon Musk shared that it would be something that goes three or four times faster than a sort of bullet train, never crashes, and is immune to weather. To make this come true, in 2013, he proposed the idea of Hyperloop, which is a ground transportation system for passengers and cargo with a speed of 760 miles per hour. To date, the project has made certain progress and this motivates him towards another goal in the sky. It's about creating a global cargo transport using the powerful Starship spacecraft that his company SpaceX is developing and testing. This concept promises to change everything discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. But before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, let's jump straight into today's episode. Transporting goods by air is not a foreign concept to us. Evidently, over U.S. $6 trillion worth of goods annually are transported by this type, accounting for approximately 35% of world trade by value. Even during the COVID-19 pandemic, air cargo represented one-third of airlines' revenue. Airplanes are the most popular means of transporting goods by air, but they also exhibit some limitations related to the ability to transport some types of goods with super-large loads as well as long delivery times due to long distances. Realizing these things, Elon Musk quickly considered the idea of creating the cargo version of the Starship rocket. This type of rocket will be used to serve suborbital flights such as point-to-point -point flights meaning traveling anywhere on Earth in under an hour. In addition, the company remains using the cargo rocket for missions in LEO and beyond. The Starship cargo rocket is a unique combination of modern technology and the power of Starship with a specialized design specifically for air cargo transport. In terms of size, SpaceX's fully stacked Starship rocket is currently 120 meters tall. In the future, the Starship cargo variant will have a height of 144 meters, 20% taller than Starship. It means that both the cargo and fuel storage areas will be significantly expanded. This might be also applied to crude, tanker, depot, or Starlink launcher variants. If increased in size, the rocket will have a huge payload volume of between 1,400 and 1,800 cubic meters, more than what other rockets currently have. The payload capacity will reach 220 tons or more instead of the 150 tons at present. Meanwhile, the Falcon 9, that allows it to hold a variety of goods of different sizes, even very large objects like launched James Webb Space Telescopes. In addition, it is also beneficial in missions involving resupply to the space station or Mars, since the large cargo capacity helps to reduce the required number of launches, thus saving time, money, and effort. To accommodate increases in both cargo capacity and vehicle size, the need for thrust and propellant will be higher. Starship's upper stage now has six Raptors consisting of three vacuums and three sea levels, but in the future, it will be added an additional three Raptor vacuum engines for increased payload capacity. With nine Raptor engines, the ship's thrust will amount to about 5 million pounds of thrust in the case of using Raptor 2, 50% more than that of six engines. To optimize the rocket's thrust, the company has been developing Raptor's third generation, which achieved a thrust of 590,000 pounds equivalent to 269 tons, 18% higher than Raptor 2. Not just enough. Walter Isaacson's Elon Musk biography talked about the SpaceX 1337 having critical breakthroughs beyond the SpaceX Raptor. The SpaceX LAET 1337 engines will have even higher chamber pressure, which will enable more thrust. Adding three Raptor engines to Starship would likely require feeding the vehicle more propellant, According to SpaceX calculations, they need to add 300 tons of liquid oxygen and frozen liquid methane into the Starship tank to power nine Raptor engines. To accommodate it all, the tank will be lengthened by about 25%, which is part of the 20% increase in Starship's height. Although owning the modern features, Starship's cost per launch, in general, will be less than $10 million. This price level is much lower than the other rockets in the market. 
The difference between the cargo version and other versions is the design of a giant cargo compartment that opens like a crocodile's mouth. I think the goods inside will be taken out by a tool that works like a crane, and of course, in space, there will be many other ways to do it. This design of the crocodile's mouth may be convenient for taking out the goods in that way. It differs from the giant flying Pez transmitter-style design on the Starlink launcher version because Starlink satellites will be deployed in orbit in another way. With those notable features, this new cargo-carrying Starship variant promises to be an important milestone not only for SpaceX, but also for the world. As you know, the Falcon rocket line is the company's only launch vehicle serving commercial contracts to pay expensive bills for Starship's development. More notably, it helps Elon Musk's aerospace business break many different records. For example, in just half of this year, thanks to Falcon 9, SpaceX delivered approximately 80% of the Earth's total payload mass into orbit. However, there is a surprising truth that SpaceX has newly earned profit in quarter one of 2023. Indeed, according to the materials the Wall Street Journal reviewed, SpaceX lost $968 million in 2021 and $559 million in 2022. SpaceX earned a tiny profit of $55 million in the first quarter this year, but that was just one quarter in a very long year. Moreover, a $55 million profit on $1.5 billion in quarterly revenue makes for a tiny net profit margin of just 3.7%. It might come from many reasons. Mainly Starship's test and development process made a big hole in the company's budget. Additionally, the Falcon 9 and Dragon spacecraft just primarily serve missions in LEO due to capacity limitations, and of course, the revenue from those cannot keep up with what SpaceX had to pay. With Elon Musk's foresight, he believes that once Starship cargo is fully operational, it will help the business become much better. It can be affirmed that his dream of colonizing Mars will never come true if SpaceX does not make enough profits. It is a fact that not only Elon Musk and his colleagues expect the success of Starship cargo, but the public is no exception. They hope that it will have a positive impact on the aviation industry, helping to transport goods by air more quickly and conveniently. Indeed, it refers to MRP, or Maximum Revenue Payload, which is the maximum part of a cargo producing revenue or income, usually expressed in weight. While the Boeing 747-400 reaches around 113 tonnes of MRP, the SpaceX Starship cargo is designed to carry up to at least 220 tonnes to low Earth orbit. Although this value of the rocket will have to be smaller due to the fully loaded landing, there will not be much change and in the end, the carrying capacity of the cargo Starship will still be higher than that of the Boeing 747-400. Additionally, an average airplane flight between LA and Shanghai takes about 12-14 hours, but the Starship can take as little as 36 minutes. That resembles the fact between fast and conventional delivery nowadays everyone prefers the first option. Therefore, in the future, cargo rockets will be the future trend of long-distance transportation. The vast potential of the Starship cargo rocket in air transport also attracts the attention of the US military, even though it is only on paper. In 2022, the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, or AFRL for short, awarded a $102 million contract to SpaceX under its rocket cargo program. AFRL sets a goal to better understand how reusable launch vehicles could be used in future cargo missions and how the commercial capability could be adapted for use by the Department of Defense. This matters since the military wants to deliver supplies and humanitarian aid to locations that may not have spaceports. Especially in the context of war where every second and every minute is precious, rockets with fast speeds and huge carrying capacity like SpaceX cargo will have the opportunity to promote their advantages. When the world political situation is at a sensitive stage, countries against the U.S. are actively developing their military and strengthening security and defense. So, actively cooperating with private aviation companies with great potential like SpaceX is the right step for the Washington government to strengthen military power and protect its number one position in the world. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. 
thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.